What's up, guys? I wanted you to go through my process when hiring freelancers to a project. And we just posted a new job. And this one is use GBT4 to quickly make content posts about accidents. Sounds a little uh, suspect, but we're doing a new product launch. I don't have them here, but basically we have these fire towels and they're to help against lithium ion battery fires, which do happen, which has happened in my office. And we're trying to get different reports and stories that have been in news and posted on social media stuff. So we're hiring out, well, we, we hired out another job to get these incident reports. So we've, and we developed like a crazy database guys and it's wild, but now we need to make posts about these situations and to bring awareness to this issue because it's kind of crazy. So just a little side note there, more information about that <laughs> down the, the road, but would be smart of you guys to pick a fire towel up, especially these new ones that we have coming on board soon. They are fire to say the least, no pun. All right, so we posted this job post. It was pretty straightforward. I just said, hey, we have about 600 lines of data. Each line contains specific information related to an accident that we're trying to identify. We are looking for someone to carry out a templated prompt on ChatGBT to spit out a post containing the basic information like, uh, a dolly generated photo that represents pose point of sale point. I, I don't know what the pose is. I, I messed up there. Date the event occurred where the accident took place. What happened using some inferring of event to make it a story. So I want the, the AI to kind of put some context along with the story. Cause it could be just like a snippet of information to go with the outcome of event, what was learned and how to help for the next time. Uh, which will introduce our product. So that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to make up, you know, all like bring these stories into attention and then be like, hey, you know, if we had this device, it, it could help. Pretty straightforward here. And, you know, normally, and here's a good reason why you guys need to learn AI. I mean, this would probably take a, a normal person a while if they were going to do this by themselves. But with AI, they could probably do it for probably a hundred bucks because they can just make one line of code from the Excel sheet or the spreadsheet and then be able to siphon that off and have everything created. And then, so we have some proposals here. This one, now, when you guys look, you'll see that a lot of people don't really look and pay attention to the job posting, even though they are spending boosted connects, like for example here. So you look at this one. Expert prompt engineer, ready to transform your data into engaging stories. Hi there. I hope this message finds you well. I came across your project and was immediately drawn to the challenge and potential impact of your task uh, with a background and blah, 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 blah. But like, come on, like, there's no way he wrote this out, obviously. And it just comes across as just really copy and pasted. So, uh, you know, I don't really know. Okay. I know that he probably knows how to do prompts. Great. But did he really look at the project? So that's a big deal guys, because you want someone that actually knows what you need and can spend the time and charge you to do that. Right? Like we're not trying to, as a client, we're not trying to pay for you guys to learn a lot of times, but then you scroll to the next one and you see a cover letter. Hi, I can make templated prompt on ChatGPT to spit out a post. I'd like to see example of your data first. Please contact me. Let's discuss further. Thanks. Okay. And now here's an example, guys. So, like this guy definitely read my post and you see how, how different that is. And it's just like, wow, here's one that's one line and he did boost it. And I think that's smart because he got ahead of it. And so I even made this video because it was just like, guys, like, look at how big of a difference this is between this guy, Mosin, and Tomislav, because he spent the money to outbid and, and become first, and he sent this thing for 80 bucks. He tried to undercut a little bit, but then, you know, 
he obviously used AI to do this because it wrote out the thing that we need. Okay, it's doing that. I'm particularly excited regarding the project. I offer a competitive. You know, it's just like it's AI generated spit. And it's not what you want, even though the job is for AI, and that's cool. It's not what we're looking for. We're, we're looking for that human connection here. You know what I mean? If I wanted to do just AI stuff completely, I would do it myself. Now, if we go down, he'll add in my previous job. You know, if we go through this in my previous roles in ML and prompt engineer, at Valence, I hone in the experience in crafting vector prompts. Which is cool. Just directly translate to your product, right? Design. Okay. So this this looks somewhat cool. I like that. He's he's gonna have prompt development, data reprocessing. Okay. So he's he's talking to me about the actual lines of data, quality control. I mean, he's saying everything right here, guys. So this is pretty good too, because he's he's really breaking down what I need. I'm still a little weary. Like, I think this could have been a little generated because, you know, they always kind of finish with this like type of summary sentence and it's kind of apparent. So yeah, I mean, it's all right, but this, you see how this, this just feels different. This just feels different. Like nothing's going to come up with this response other than Tomislav reading it and, sa and saying, Hey, I can do this. And so it's just really attractive. We scroll down as a content writer, blah, 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 blah. You know, here we are. Like, there's nothing really in her profile, but the, but the cover letter is longer. It's, it's nothing about anything I need. I can just tell. It's kind of a waste. This, not feeling it. Doesn't feel like it even feels like it has anything to do with my project. Talk mass, yo, and blah, blah, blah. with a rich background in multimedia editing and web development, I propose to develop an automated system that will transform raw data into engaging and information. This system will leverage AI, generate a great, great conclusion. You see, guys, like what I was saying before, she almost had me until this conclusion because this isn't really how people write. So, again, let's go to Tomislav. Does Tomislav have any conclusions, guys? Definitely not. You see how his proposal is shorter than his actual profile. He should have everything that he can do in his profile. And you know, the biggest thing is just the fact that he read the, you know, the, he, he read my job post uh, and that's what we're looking for guys. Scroll down deers, red flag, blah, blah, red flag deers. I mean, maybe this person, but I, I don't know the fact that it's just so, I mean, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. It's, it's not terrible. Anytime anyone carefully goes through their request, I know that you did not go through carefully. Yeah, not, not that terrible solely. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, you're definitely a go high level guy. I'll, I'll keep you in mind for, but I don't think for this project, it's probably the best. Well, I can build you and make.com automation to do exactly what you need. Plus posting the post. Okay, yeah, I read this one before. This is good. So again, guys, like, read. This is very authentic. I can build you a make.com automation to do exactly what you need, plus posting the posts automatically to WordPress. Plus, one built the workflow can be reused indefinitely, not just for the 600 available pieces of data. I only hope this is an ethical job. It seems to be a, some kind of accidents. If it's not ethical, then I won't be able to help you, unfortunately. Yeah, and I think you'll find it ethical since it's not like, you know, car accidents or anything like that. It's mostly about just burns and stuff that everybody should be aware of in home offices, garages, kitchens. But even the, the, the kitchen fires, you pr can predict more because you're usually cooking something. You're kind of ready for it. These fires in the offices and, and these situations where they just pop off, you know, when, when you're recharging these things are wild, guys. If you guys haven't seen some videos of these lithium ion battery explosions, I'm going to be doing a lot more. It's pretty wild. This, per this person looks awesome. You know, I kind of like that they're concerned about it as they should be. It means that they, they read the thing, right? They're proving to me that they read the thing. And that's something that half these people have. 90%, everybody other than our boy, Tomislav 
hasn't even proved to me that they read this thing. Everybody else, including Solio, I'm not even sold that they read the thing, okay? Especially Momin, even though I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt. Not so much Hasna, and I know Amron, however you say that, is has read this. So he's going to get a thumbs up for sure. That's it, guys. You just need to read the job post and be able to do it. And and it, we we can tell whether you know how to do it or not. He's explained it. He, by him saying this, I know that he knows how to do it. Yeah, this seems better too. But yeah, okay, this is interesting. So he may have prompted, and this is, I mean, I guess good prompt engineering. The fact that he's advising the AI, if this is AI, to like break out the processes and make it helpful, which is smart. So it's a, it's definitely a smart, smart proposal, but I like the authentic ones better. Dear client, I hope this message finds you well. Ready? Get out of here. I mean, guys, don't write that. Pakistan, I, I hope you will be fine. Next one, chat GPT-4 and just seen your job posting for chat GPT content. Blah, 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 blah. Guys, get to the point. No, I'm not sold that you know how to do it. I'm sold that you read it. I'm not sold that you know how to do it. I hope you are doing well. As I write this, I'm writing for a suggestion. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, she's saying, Wendy is saying that they're going to need something complex and all these things. Not really, Wendy. We're just going to need to break this thing up properly and then have prompts from within each piece. I think some people realize that already, but thanks for these suggestions. But I'm not sure you, yeah, I'm not sure you know how to do it. Hello, I'm excited about this opportunity to work with creating a template, post to identify accidents based on the provided data, my expertise in scripting and content. Yeah. You guys get the drift now, you guys see these patterns. You seeing these patterns? Dear hiring manager, no. No. So you are searching for somebody gifted in pre-arranging using ChatGPT to assist with an errand, connecting with distinguishing mishaps from a data set. With our data set containing such a... Nope. Hello, my name is Saf Safwan. I'm drawn to your proposal. Great. Certainly. Here's a brief overview of content writing. Content writing process of creating written material for various mediums such as websites. No. Cover letter. I will do it. Honestly, guys, this is probably better approach than everything that I can just tell is copy and pasted. I hope this message finds you well. I hope you don't appreciate a thumbs down and spending your hard earned connects. It's crazy guys that people spend their hard earned money on connects and then give me copy and pasted stuff that doesn't even show me that they've read the job. And if they just would have wrote what, Thomas Love wrote, do we need to go back to it? Two lines, hi, right? Not hi, how are you doing? Hi, sir, blah, 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 Hi, I can make your template a prompt on ChatGPT to split out a post. Exact language that I used, one sentence, and I know that he can do it, or will at least figure out how to do it if he says he's gonna do it. I'd like to see the example of your data set first. Of course, you would. Anyone sane would, Thomas Slav, because it could be like one line of data could be like 50,000 words. And it's like, well, yeah, I'm glad you asked that question. Please contact me. Call to action. Let's discuss further in details. Thanks. Two lines said everything I know for him to say that I know that he can do exactly this. Or the bigger thing is just get the ball over the goal. I don't care if he knows how to do it or not. He's going to do the thing. Okay. And that's a big deal. It's a big deal. Okay. Everybody else. Not good. Not good so far. Hi. Richard with a, I, like, why would I care about multimedia? Okay. It has nothing to do with that guy's cover letter. Hello. How are you today? Great. I have carefully gone through your request and see myself as what I can handle perfect and deliver to great job, blah, blah, blah. I've, I've heard nothing so far. Nothing, 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 nothing. Nothing. Sorry, we're going back to Sulu. Sorry to pick on you, Sulu. But like just in comparison to everybody else, 
And I'm going to keep I Will Do It, Allie, because I, I at least know that he's he's driven to do this and, and looked at it. I handle many projects so I can handle this very effectively. Can you, though? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if you can. Cover letter, I'll try my best. Definitely don't want your best because your best may not be what I need, dude. I don't even know you. Okay, so now we got all those people. And all of those people, guys, all of those people spent money on Connect, by the way. Okay? And what we're left with is are just these few people. And I'm not even sure that he wrote this. Let's assume not. Okay? This is let's assume this is an AI. So let's just because we're gonna adhere to some rules that from now on. No more AI generated prompts I'm recognizing. Okay. So we have Tomislav and we have Momin. And I'm not even sure Momin really wrote this out. Maybe. But the fact that he wrote this like that, I'm not sure. Look at the look at the difference with Tomislav. I don't know. He definitely didn't use AI to generate that. But you know what? Sorry, buddy. And between these three, Ali, Tomislav, and Amron, sorry, buddy. The confidence of you getting the job done, not great. So what I'm left with, out of all of those people, I archived 20 people, okay? 20 people. These two people said the, the, the least amount of words, probably, and just showed me that they definitely know what they can do. And that they they read my project and can do it. So these two people are both going to get hired because I think it's a good idea. Okay. Well, I'm going to take this offline because I think it's going to flash my credit card number. So I'd rather not do that. But I'm going to go hire both these people right now. And the reason I do that is because one may not do it as awesome as I was predicting they would, right? But I need to have a backup plan because the most expensive freelancer, guys, is the one that wastes your time, doesn't do the right project. So I want to avoid that. That's why I'll hire both people and then we'll check it out, see how they do. And then, yeah, we'll report back here. But I hope that's helpful for where our mindset is like as clients because we see so many copy and pasted and AI generated items. It's pretty crazy. And we don't fall for it. We're not going to spend our money with people that we don't even think looked at the project. Hope that's helpful. Thanks.